Addie woke up this morning with a hankering for pancakes, apparently. Oh <laughs> so she was making pancakes for everybody. I was yep. like, I it's could smell over. like cooking coming from my bedroom. I was like, who is cooking something? It smells good. Mm -hmm. So apparently her, Taylor, and Miley couldn't sleep last night and all they were talking about was breakfast food. So she thought that yep. she would surprise them. I have six, one, six pancakes oh. with sprinkles. Very and nice. some of them don't have sprinkles. He already tasted one. Yeah. <laughs> you stop. Okay, so we are out and about. Um, Got to run some errands today. And I have a grocery pickup. So I'm hoping to make it to Once Upon a Child. That'll be like a bonus if we make it there. Will you stop? <laughs> and then do our grocery pickup. But first, we are stopping and looking at another mobile home place. Um, I'm just kinda... <laughs> Addie's excited. I'm just curious. We haven't been to this place and I'm just curious what they have to offer so we are going to check them out. Y'all ready? Yeah. 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 Yep, let's mm -hmm. check them out. Yeah, that's a bath. Yeah, that is a potty. <laughs> yep, we did. Yeah, I do like the kitchen. I have the windows right there next to the Got the single pane windows. Okay. All of our houses come standard now with a double pane, low okay. insulated windows. Okay. So I'm here. One and two. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, like yeah, there's a bathroom on each side. Yeah, there's a bathroom on each side. But there's like a whole cut out at the top. And then you go, Addy! Oh, my lanta. <laughs> oh, wow. This is cool. There's a closet. So there's two master baths. So this ain't mom and dad's closet. This is a kid's closet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's two toilets? Yeah. And then. Da, 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 da. This is yeah. two bathrooms or three? I guess three if you're coming with this too. All right, close the doors. So it looks like a cabinet. Secretly, it's a pantry. Who knew there was another kid in there? <laughs> you can put one shelf. The lights work? No. no. Mama, this one can be a hide and go seek spot. Yeah. Mama, come here. Maybe. I like the candy. All right, so we were back home. I'm gonna show you, I didn't get a lot at Walmart. We just kind of needed some fill-in stuff. So I got both kinds of goldfish. We needed milk was the primary reason why I was, did a grocery pickup order. So regular milk, almond milk, and A2 milk. And I was out of laundry soap. So definitely needed that. Um, also needed some rice. I think I might do tacos tonight for dinner. Haven't decided. <laughs> I thought about doing goulash. So that's why I got the noodles. Huh? Good stuff. I know. You want goulash or tacos? Mm. Both. Both. <laughs> okay, so some goulash. All right, well, peanut butter crackers. Got Cheez Its, some graham crackers, mm. Honey Nut Cheerios, regular Cheerios, pasta for whenever I do mac and cheese in the Instapot. They are loving that. Um, bacon, butter, two things of strawberries. I think I thought that I ordered the big ones, but oh well. Pizza roll, stuffing. I just thought in case I wanted to do chicken stuffing for dinner. Veggie straws. We needed more eggs. Bananas. Yep, bananas, uh, chicken and a biscuit, crackers, regular crackers, turkey, and four loaves of bread. Yep. <laughs> okay, so here's the items that we got at Once Upon a Child. The little kids needed more so play clothes, shirts and shorts. Um, so we just got a little bit. Drew picked out this Paw Patrol shirt. Got a pair of, y'all know, little boys just love the, like, comfy shorts. And then this shirt I, I thought was cute. I got one shirt. Yeah, they did not have much in Reagan size, uh -huh. but she got this burgundy shirt that's pretty. And she got these shoes. All right, you can take your stuff, Reagan, if you want. <laughs> All right, so Harper got two pairs of shorts. Those are super cute, huh? Uh, Jean 
pair, and she then she got, liked, like, a skirt pants. Yeah, she, a romper. Mom, so, she liked I this butterfly this, shirt. I had so many, um, shirts. I got a, I have yep. so many. Shirts. And so, they all like the burgundy shirt, because I have a burgundy tank top that I wear, and they said that they could match me. I thought that was cute. So, an ice cream shirt. Who can say no to ice cream? And then, she liked this one, too. Live each day then like it's your birthday. <laughs> I thought that was cute, yep. And then, born to be queen. <laughs> She liked it because it had a hoodie. And then this is a romper set that she liked. I think it might be a little bit big, but do you want to try it on? I know. I was a speed shopper today. They honestly didn't really have a lot in each size. So Camden, I got two pairs of shorts. So these I thought would be good for church. Just, you know, a regular pair of shorts. This shirt I thought to go with the khaki shorts for church. A shirt, a camo shirt, and then a football shirt. That's for me. Those, okay, those are for Camden. I know. And then Kinley, I got this dress. It was just so cute. I could not say no to it. And I think it was only four fifty. Yep. Uh, Miley got a romper. Mm -hmm. Did oh, you try it on? Nope. Not yet. Oh. I thought this was cute. Possibly for Easter for Mama, Kinley. Ma. Oh my God. Yep. And then this shirt I thought was super cute for Kinley too for church. A uh, skirt, short she set, had and then this outfit I thought was so cute. So it's obviously I got a red shirt, but look at these shorts, little watermelon shorts, be perfect for summer. So cute, and then just another basic shorts. Like I said, I need more play clothes. Tank top. Can you is help your, me, Drew? Is your birthday going to be on Easter this year? No. Oh. Yep, my birthday is in April. It's so close okay, so by always you. sisters. I thought that was sweet. <gasps> that is so and those shirts <laughs> so yes um i thought that would be cute maybe for the fourth of july and this was just oh, yeah. cute, so cute. <laughs> all right so it is a little bit later it's 5 10 we gotta leave out the door in 10 minutes for ballet i made two pans of goulash for dinner oh goulash just sounds so good we actually also cleaned out the van it's just been a very busy afternoon <laughs> So, Tuesday is also ballet day. I think I said that right. I, yeah, because we have to leave in 10 minutes is what I said. So, I pack a dish for the kids that I take with me. And then we eat dinner once we get there or on the run um, or on the way home. Something like that. Okay, so it's the next day. And I have not put my makeup on yet. And now I realize exactly how tired I look. I have been really tired lately. I think just... The exhaustion of everything that we have been through is hitting me the last couple days just from, and I mean from moving to our kids being sick uh, multiple times at this point. Again, I thought that we were over it and another kid ended up getting sick, but that was a couple days ago. Anyways, just yesterday and today. Um, I feel a little bit better today, but yesterday I was actually, maybe it was the day before. I don't remember. Anyways, I look tired because I am tired. <laughs> I will put myself together eventually, but I'm enjoying just sitting for a bit. Um, so it's actually in the afternoon. The little kids are down for their nap. So everybody's happy and, or sleeping, which is, you know, amazing. Um, so I wanted to just kind of like touch base on the house stuff. So I was curious about this mobile home place. I have heard of it, but we have never driven out that way. It's a little bit farther than any of the other ones that we would visit. We do not have a definitive, you know, of what we're doing yet or, you know, anything like that. Um, I didn't get a lot of video while we were there because the salesman, it was actually the manager, walked us through each home and was telling us, you know, all the perks and what they can do and stuff like that. So I didn't get a lot of clips because of that. I didn't want him to think, well, what is this crazy lady doing, you know? film in my homes but anyway so I really like one of them and our plan was what was that I just heard a beep there's so many different timers and beeps you know than what I'm used to from our house anyways um so my plan was I think Nathan has Monday off our plan was to actually go out there together I'm a little antsy y'all and sometimes I just get a wild hair and I did that morning. So we loaded up. I was just curious. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to load up and go. So that's what we did. And I told Nathan that I really liked one of the houses. And just some of the options that they have. So I think it's just worth looking more into. 
So we will probably go back again on Monday so that Nathan can see firsthand. I mean, I showed him some pictures that I had and the floor plan and such. But we are still, you know, weighing out our options. And the biggest thing that my uncle and aunt have told us is to not be rushed into making a decision because in the situation that we were in, we were having to make fast decisions, which doesn't always lead to making, it was the dishwasher. That's what that beep was. <laughs> so when this dishwasher is done, it like pops open. Like, here you go. Let me vent out all the heat. I don't even know. Anyways, it just popped open. So the beep that I heard was the dishwasher. Sorry. <laughs> um, back on track. So my aunt and uncle have just stressed to us to not feel rushed into making a decision simply because we have to, to take our time. And that's why they obviously open their doors to us is they want us to make a sound decision because it's a big decision for, you know, our home for the duration of obviously however we live there it is our plan to be a forever home so but you never know what you know happens in life you know plans change and stuff happens too but that is our intentions is living on the land will be our forever home so it's not really like a quote answer I simply went out to look at the homes because I wanted to I wanted to see what they had to offer what they had um, I was curious so that's just kind of where we're at with this and we are moving forward this weekend of mowing the land which has been a whole nother process we did have it set up to do in december or january and we had to reschedule it but we have to make it a priority now so we are working towards that um i'm trying to think of what else we are working towards just still finding out information that we need to find so it does look like we will probably do a mobile home at this point and just trying to find the right home for us too in the price range because as y'all know, I kind of feel like I'm a broken record, but I still get so many questions about like, why are you doing this? Or what is this or whatever? Y'all do some research and look at the prices because affordable housing, especially in this area, is very hard to find. Um, so that is, you know, that obviously weighs into the decisions that we're making. But anyway, so that's what we got going on. As always, thank you guys so much for your love and prayers and support. We greatly appreciate it. I'm going to end this video here because this is what I'm doing for the rest of the afternoon <laughs> is chilling, hang or just, just resting. We did school. Everybody got school done. We have church tonight, so I'm going to just rest for a little bit. Might do some crocheting, you know, nothing fancy around here. I obviously have to get myself ready. And then we have church tonight, but all the, it's kind of just like one of our leisure days after school except for the crazy kids that are swimming in the cold pool but anyway so thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and we will see y'all in the next video